The fortress became our stronghold, a sanctuary amidst the chaos of war. Hewn from rugged stone, it stood as a monument of our resilience against the tide of human invaders. We, the warriors of our planet, had entrenched ourselves within its confines, prepared to face whatever onslaught the enemy may hurl at us. In the stillness of the bunker, amidst the cold and the darkness, we waited. We knew the humans were out there, lurking in the shadows, their weapons primed and their hearts filled with aggression. We were ready, though. Every member of our unit, from the seasoned veterans to the fresh recruits, stood vigilant, eyes scanning the darkness for any sign of movement. Then, as if on cue, the silence was shattered by the thunderous roar of gunfire and explosions. The humans had come, their assault swift and relentless. We braced ourselves as they breached our defenses, pouring into the fortress like a flood. It was chaos, a whirlwind of blood and steel but we were prepared. I raised my weapon, fingers steady despite the adrenaline coursing through my veins. Each shot was a declaration of defiance, a vow to protect our home at all costs. The air was thick with the acrid sin of gunpowder, the screams of the wounded mingling with the roar of battle. The humans fought with ferocity, their numbers seeming endless. But we stood our ground, trading blow for blow, refusing to yield even an inch of territory. We were soldiers, trained for this moment, and we would not be so easily defeated. Amidst the chaos, I caught sight of a human, its face twisted in rage. It lunged at me, weapon raised, but I was faster. With a swift motion, I dispatched the invader, watching as it fell to the ground, defeated. There was no time for celebration, though. More humans were coming, their attacks never stop. The fortress became a battleground a crucible of fire and blood. We fought with every ounce of strength we possessed, driven by the unshakable conviction that our cause was just. Minutes stretched into hours as the battle raged on. And then, finally, the tide began to turn. The humans faltered, their advance slowing as our defenses held firm. We seized the opportunity, pushed them back. Victory was within our grasp, but we knew the battle was far from over. In the aftermath of the fighting, we tended to our wounded, counting our losses and mourning the fallen. The fortress bore the scars of battle, its walls stained with blood and smoke. But amidst the devastation, there was hope. We had repelled the human invaders, proving that we would not go down without a fight. As we regrouped and strategized our next move, we knew that the humans would not relent. They would come at us again, stronger and more determined than ever but we were ready. We would meet them head on, our resolve unshakable, our spirits unbroken. The days turned into weeks, and the weeks into months, but still the war raged on. Each battle brought new challenges, new sacrifices, but we refused to back down. We fought for our families, for our homes, for everything we held dear. And then, one day, it happened. The humans launched their most devastating assault yet, their forces overwhelming in their numbers. We fought with everything we had, but it was not enough. The fortress fell, its walls crumbling beneath the weight of the enemy's onslaught. In the chaos of defeat, amidst the smoke and the rubble, I found myself grappling with doubt. Had we done enough? Had our sacrifices been in vain? But there was no time for self-doubt, no room for hesitation. We were soldiers, and soldiers did not waver in the face of adversity. As the dust settled and the smoke cleared, I looked around at the remnants of our unit. We were battered and bruised, but we were still standing. We had fought with courage and determination, and that was something no human invader could ever take away from us. And so, as we prepared to face the inevitable onslaught of the enemy's forces, I knew that no matter what happened, we would fight until the very end. For we were warriors, forged in the crucible of war, and our spirit would never be broken.